<laughs> I think one during the day, one during the morning, during the yeah, afternoon. Yeah, when you get multiple girls, Not you don't night. have to deal with that problem. Yeah. <laughs> as much as women get mad at that shit, like, it, it really does daddy. help out, man. Being monogamous is So can lame. we ask y'all's body count? Y'all gonna tell us? Yeah, what's your body count? Oh my. Or no. Y'all don't want to disclose. Allegedly, Myron and Fresh are men of God. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Amen. I ain't see the fruits yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> Nigga. Mar- Mar- I mean, Myron and Fresh are humanitarian, upstanding citizens, saints I mean, and angels. I, 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 God we, bless we said them before. It don't matter, but the 400 some. What? Allegedly. Are you for real? Allegedly, by the way. Is this a joke? Yes. It's I old. mean, I'm old. I'm 33. Wow. Wait, Did he say that 400 body count? 400? Yeah. 400 something. It's like Damn. four. That's four. easy. You have to keep counting. That's why you have to say you put like all the names in. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> Legit though, I just really don't tell me that you saved the condoms. It's not good. It's like it's like four fifteen or something. But I'm like saying that. in the event that something mm. happened, would you know who so, you like, like who to go back to? It's all allegedly. Do you space it out so you know who's responsible for whatever? I document everything. Okay, oh, okay. that's okay. good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you gonna do that? Uh, he's gonna document. He gonna keep a journal. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> right. He's yeah. lying. He's lying, guys. <laughs> and, uh, I'm li- what am I lying about? I don't know. You look like that. Look like mm, no, mm. I don't really do that. Yeah. What do you think? You really got? You really got like? I know. Oh, okay. I know. Because he looked like. I just don't know. The exact number, but I know it's he like know how to get go. Y'all four see, four he 20. know about all the tricks. So. <laughs> <laughs> he know right. what about I you, mean, Mr. the reason Pastor? why I know females so well is because I've dealt with them extensively. I, I I would argue I know women better than they know themselves a lot of the times. Damn, why y'all not married? <laughs> what? You don't want to be married? No. Oh, okay. No, marriage is a institution set up for failure, mm. and it's. A, I mean, let me ask you this: mm-hmm. name one benefit that a man gets. In marriage that he wouldn't get in a regular relationship. I think men benefit more from marriage than women, so I I don't know. That's a hundred percent wrong. Really? Yeah, that's yeah. Wrong. Mm-hmm. wrong. Well, well, it's simple. Okay, name one thing that a man gets a benefit from marrying that he can't get in a regular relationship. True. Can I, you I can't, name anything? No, because they can wash their own clothes. They can cook for themselves. You're right. They right? got and you're getting, kids. And you're getting, without, you're getting everything. Getting you're getting married. everything that you would get in a marriage. So, what benefit does marriage really have? But for I men? mean, biblically speaking, is we make a house when a it's home. your rib, though. Yeah, like like, <laughs> ma- like marriage benefits women. It doesn't benefit men. But how does it benefit women? I'm asking a serious question. You get security, I've never and then if the guy decides to leave you, he will get penalized heavily for doing yeah. so. Alimony, child, oh, yeah. child support, marriage. If he only makes more money. Women. No, if no, most of the time men make more money than their woman. So therefore, the woman benefits. Well, yeah, but it's funny because whenever women make more money than their man, they're quick to sign that prenup. Though, mm-hmm. when a woman makes more money, assuming she even wants to marry the guy in the first place, smart. Most women typically want to marry a man that makes about fifty-six percent more money than they do. So marriage inherently benefits women. It doesn't benefit men at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of things in society benefit women that they complain about. Sexism benefits women, right? As much as women try to say that's sexist, the whole concept of sexism exists to create two different standards for men and women and if we're going to be all the way honest the female standard is always mediocre mm. look at female sports no one gives a fuck it's whack look at um the female standards in the military way lower than men female standards when it comes to joining in law enforcement or joining anything else especially when there's physicality involved it's always watered down to let to let women in mm. so who benefits from the kids both Oh, okay, because I about to say, <laughs> but you can have kids without marriage. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, so, that's true. so realistically speaking, like I mean, just be like speak. Too. Of course, I agree that marriage is great, um, and the nuclear family is how you build society. But we have to be honest here and figure out who gets the leverage and who gets more value from marriage. It's one thousand percent women. Mm-hmm. Do you want to be married? Because you ain't answering. Hmm? You want to be married? Mm. I was. Oh, I know a little something oh. about this guy right here. Would you do it Ooh. again? I can already yeah. tell. Huh? Like, and here's the other thing too, because women like to use this all the time Not. on us and they'll say, oh, are you married or whatever? You got to remember, ladies, that the metric of success for a woman is to get married. The metric of success for a man is to build status, resources, and have multiple chicks. That's every man's dream is to drive a fast car, have a bunch of chicks, live your life the way that you want. Women, they want to have the best guy that they can get and have him commit to her, him. Or, sorry, have him commit to her. Women want quality. Men want quantity. We are very different. The female standard of success is getting married. The male standard of success is doing what you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So do you think that statistically, yeah. based off numbers, yeah. men are catch? I think men are the prize, not women. I agree. Because it is far harder to find an attractive man than it is to find the attractive woman. And we can just look at this biologically. Who needs who ne- who has more requirements of the opposite gender? Men or women? More requirements? Of the opposite gender. Women. women. Who's pickier? Women. women, but there's more of you. There's more 
what am I trying to say? There's more women than there is men, so y'all are the pick of, like, of the leg. We're we looking for y'all. I mean, like, that's, that's another said, fact that you can yeah. add, but I'm not even going to go into the fact that there's more women than there are men. I'm not even going to use that stat. I'm just going to say, who's pickier? Women, correct? Mm -hmm. So, therefore, if you're pickier, you have higher standards, correct? Mm -hmm. Would it be fair to say that only a minority of men check off all the boxes that women are picky about? Fairly. Height, strength, income, com uh, uh, competence, confidence, being attractive, being charming, having nice teeth, all this other bullshit that women want, good dresser. Mm -hmm. Would it be fair to say that only a fraction of men have these things? About the opposite. Okay, now what do... Now, <laughs> is it easy to please a man? It de mm. <laughs> yes. are, are most men easy to please in yes. general? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. They okay. tell you exactly Give what they want. Yes. Yes. Okay, so guess what? Since women are men are easy to please, wouldn't it be fair to say that a majority of women can please a man if they know what they're doing? Yeah. Yes. So, therefore, who has the leverage? Y'all, I agree. I don't so know about why, nobody else. Because we, I don't, uh, because we live in a world where women tend to say, "Oh, I'm the prize," and I argue, actually, not. Once a man reaches a certain level, it's the man. Because there's less attractive men than there are attractive women, and that's yeah. by women's own doing by being picky. And I think another thing also that girls don't realize is, as you make more money, you become more successful. You actually fuck yourself up because as you make more money and rise through the ranks, like you two right here, right? You guys said, who are who are the six figure earners in here? Three, y'all. Three. Okay, one, two, three. And then you said you made more money than all your men, right? Yes. So now, would it be fair to say that you want a man that makes at least six figures, if not more? Yeah. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Okay. So just off of your earning capacity alone, only about 5% of men qualify for y'all. Right. Yeah. In yeah. the United States. Mm -hmm. We haven't even taken into account looks, height, status, him being charming. Sexuality. None of that. We haven't even, the, 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 and there's a lot of gay guys that fall in this range. Mm -hmm. So just by you making $100,000 a year, you've effectively ostracized a majority of men from dating you. So who really is the prize? I mean, because that guy that makes that amount of money that y'all make, he'll date a bitch that works at McDonald's. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Because <laughs> they don't care about accolades. I'm telling y'all. When did you realize that? How old mm -hmm. were you when you realized that men don't care about status and money? After 29. I got out of college. After you got out of college? And was telling people about my degree and I was like, so what? Who gives a fuck? Man. Would, would you say feminism lied to you? Um, about what men find attractive because feminism tells women make money get a status it's men are going to be attracted to I that. would say that and I will also say like how I was raised I was raised by an independent strong oh, tough queen. black woman so oh, now queen. that I'm oh, in my 30s go. I'm learning to sit in my soft girl era in my femininity and it's tough to have those conversations with your mom like you taught me to be like a strong independent black woman and nobody wants that Ooh, wow yep. that's the oh, reality wow. Honestly, wow. Man, I like that's it. true wow yeah, yeah. Well, um, who else got that type of um treatment from their mom who else grew up in like a single mother household and they told you that you uh, yeah we know you did your mom also tell you like chase a career make money that's going to make you more attracted to the opposite gender yes so i'm the only one in my family with a bachelor's degree mm -hmm. no one else in my family graduated college except for my mom she has an associate's degree she's a nurse my nurse nurse yeah and i think that's also a big stigma too is that we push women <laughs> to do like a lot more than we do our men sometimes not like y'all but like in general right yeah and so that's why you have a lot more women who are more successful rising to the top than some men I'm knowing sure. what you know now mm -hmm. right at 30 years old that men don't give a fuck about any of that stuff that you mentioned what if you change things around a bit and look for a guy when you were younger yeah okay what about you i'm sorry to say that again knowing what you know now about what men are actually attracted to and how female status and income doesn't really matter that much would you have um would you have found a guy when you were younger oh, or would you switch things up yeah. Or maybe I, picked a better mate when you were 19 versus that guy? Absolutely. I would have never gotten married at 19. Um, he was in the military and we were like, oh, this sounds like a great idea for the benefits and whatnot. We moved to Hawaii together. And now almost 28 years old, there's so many qualities that I look for in men that I didn't find in that man before. Okay. So like I... When did you like start overtaking him and making more money than him? Because clearly at 19, he probably made more money than you. But at what point did you overtake him? No. So I was always working multiple jobs when we were together. And in the military, mm. they don't give you that much money. The only reason he got housing allowance was because he was married, married. to me. Okay. So yeah. I actually still made money while I was going to college out in Hawaii. I was also working full time always. I've had a job since I was 12 years old. So um, when I got my college degree and he I was, enlisted, I'm assuming. Yes. He's okay. enlisted. When I got my college degree, he immediately felt inferior to me because I was going to make more money than him. Like th more than I already was making than him. How much more were you making than him once you got your career? Um, it could be rough. It doesn't have to be the exact. How much more? Yeah, probably about twenty thousand more than him at the more. time. Okay. Now I make significantly more more than yeah. him still. What about you? Um, if you could turn it back, would you? Uh, 
would you have found a guy sooner maybe or um yeah i'd say so if i could find the guy that i'm looking for you know someone like really successful makes a lot of money but that's hard to find did do you think feminism lied to y'all or what are your guys t- take on that um what do you mean like telling you chase a career make money etc and it's going to make you more appealable to men um I mean, I think everyone's attracted to someone who's going somewhere in their life than someone who's just sitting at home all day and doesn't have anything going on for them. Yeah, but that might not necessarily always equate to money. You can have a hobby that doesn't pay you, and I think men would not give a shit either way. Yeah, that's true. Okay. What about you? You're uh, Knowing what you know now, would have you gone back? I mean, I've been trying. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Explain. Like, dating. Dating sucks. I hate it. So... Do you think the reason a part of the reason why dating sucks is that because your standards have are pretty high? I don't think my standards are that high. What are your standards? I mean, I just want open communication and trust with someone and someone who doesn't drive me up a wall. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? I think I have a calculator here that we can use. And it's a new one, new and improved one too. Uh, Shout out to my guys and see you network, yeah, man. Go, go, go ahead, Fresh. Uh, run the thing. I uh, I want to I want to see her standards. We're gonna plug them in real quick. Okay, so we've got some more chats here. Um yep. We have up next uh, Anthony. Oh, no. Is it John? No. Diglets. To the lady who got divorced, did your backstabbing friend sleep with your cheating ex-husband? Oh, shit. So I had friends that slept with my husband before I even became his wife. Um, Damn. But once we got divorced, I actually didn't have friends that grew up with me and him. I don't care who he sleeps with. And if they're going to sleep with him, they're not my friends. So I don't know Mm -hmm. and I don't care. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's then, pull it up real quick. Okay, cool. Um, if we got it. We got a new and improved female calculator, by the way, guys. All right. First time. I'm seeing it. Sure. Yeah, this female is a new one. Calculator. And uh, congratulations. You are going to be the first one that we use it on, Miss uh, HR Aviation. And I want to shout out people that made this calculator as well. Oh, they're there. We put them uh, there. Frederick and Slat. All right, ladies. So we're going to go ahead and build your dream man. Okay. So we're going to switch transition real quick. <laughs> How old do you want your guy to be? Can minimum, I give an age min, range? Min, yeah, yeah. Minimum to maximum. Um, 24 to 30. Okay. And and just so you guys know, this comes from the 2023 Current Population Survey and the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. So this is probably one of the most accurate assessments of men up to in date. the United States that's up to date with 2023 stats. What's the bare minimum height that he's got to be for you? Um, 5'8". Jeez. Okay. Uh, what's the race? Any. Any? Okay. Oh, sure. All of them. <laughs> Even Asia? Come on, man. Yeah. We love you a long time. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 if they treat me right, right, if they treat me right, then yeah. Thank you. Come again. Come on, man. If they treat me right, then yeah. You like shrimp and curry? Oh, do you see? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> they treat you egg roll. I don't believe that, but that's fine. Egg roll. Okay. What's the minimum education he's got to have for you? High school. Really? Yeah. Okay. You can right. have a good job and have a high school degree. So, that is true. Okay. All right, cool. Um, wait, Chris, did you got to put high school there? It's not there. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, and then go ahead and put the min. Uh, the, what's the bare minimum he can make? Sixty k. Sixty k. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, and then um, can he be married? Like currently? Yeah. Like I don't want my. Future husband to be married? No. Okay, so exclude married. Fair enough. <laughs> can, can he be obese? obese? No. Sorry, Mo. Okay. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see where this man ranks in uh, the situation. Go ahead, click. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, bro? I don't know, man. It's new. Congratulations. So three. Okay. Seven, like, Your three. guy is fairly reasonable. reasonable. Uh, but here's the other thing too. You got you scored three cat bags out of five in the delusion calculator. But the thing is, you got to remember is that this does not account for the man's looks or charm yeah. or anything else. Yeah. So yes, can, is this guy out there? He is, but that we haven't even went over the other stuff, personality, yeah. all that other shit. So, but I will say, not a bad job. Not, not a bad job right. compared to other girls. Okay. Anyone else want to see uh, what their chances of finding their guy? I do. Oh shit! You fucked. No oh, shit. shit. <laughs> all right. What's the minimum maximum age for you? Twenty one. Two one. Two thirty. Okay. okay. Twenty one. To thirty. All right. Minimum height. Keep it a thousand. Six. Six foot. foot yeah. All right. Cool. Um. 
And then uh, race? Any. Any race? Yep. Okay. Come on. <laughs> he like yeah. If they're attractive, there's they, you know, wages. Bro, you are not messing with no dude like love you a long time. Or okay, me. but if he's Asian, tall, he's built, he's got abs, you know, like you like shrimp? Come on now. Chicken fried. Shrimp fried right. yeah. So she needs him to be a, a, a gross <laughs> outlier. So you'll do any race. Yeah, I mean right, if we'll he's give cute. It that's fine. That's fine. We'll any race. And then uh minimum education. High school. High school. All right. And then minimum income. Um, hundred grand. Hundred k. Yeah. All okay. right. Yeah. Uh, and then let's go here. Um, can you be married? No. Okay. Can you be obese? Nope. Sorry, Mo. Right. Thank you, Chris. All right. Build your man. Let's see here. Yeah, I know. What's and you scored a perfect five out of five. Congratulations, man. To be single uh, for a very long time. So, uh, guys, the best in Chewy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah you got the whole chat laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, the chances of you finding your guy are very slim. And here's Zero. the thing: we haven't even talked about him being built and having abs and these things that you mentioned before. Um, I think what like te- like something like less than ten percent of men have visible abdominals. So, um, are you going to lower your standards, knowing that this guy is going to um, be very hard to find? Probably, like you know, when I turn twenty five, yeah, I'm probably. No, you're not. Gonna no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> you're going to lower your standards. How old are you now? Twenty one. Yeah, you're not gonna lower your standards. Yeah, she ain't lowering her standards. Well. Lower her standards if if anything, it's only gonna go up. <laughs> yeah. And here's the other scary part: a guy that meets these requirements probably won't want to date a stripper. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna be a stripper by then, you know. You so will. By 25. Yeah. He probably won't want to date a former stripper either, being yeah. honest. Because just of the negative, the, you know. Here's the thing, yo. I've said it before. There's a lot of girls that are dancers that aren't hoes, and there's a got bunch of girls yeah. that are. Nurses and doctors that are hoes, but unfortunately, it's the reputation. If we were you, we would leave that out completely. If you can, oh yeah, conveniently. No, I normally don't tell people. Yeah. But if yeah. if he finds out, then you know is what it is. Fair it enough. Is. Um, all right. Anyone else want to get their dream shattered? Sure. So you would rather not know, right? Exactly. Well, if you tell me, then I know. If you don't tell me, then <laughs> yeah, I, I might yeah. assume, but I don't know. Well, you got to remember. And for... you would prefer to assume. Well, no. For example, it's kind of like you can tell somebody. Something or actions will show who you really are. So right. it's kind of like those traits and those, for example, those like lifestyle choices will come up in certain instances. So, and and so, if, if the guys go women, he'll he'll be able yeah, to pick it up. Like like, like the, yeah. the, there's certain behaviors that women exhibit that you're like, oh, okay, I I know what type of I know what type of time you're on. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So would you rather just see those things and just be assuming and trying to get an answer from her? She not answering, or would you rather know? But this is why you got to be that woman for at least a year as a minimum. man. You, you got it better because, for example, I can assume, but only time will tell me what I, I need to figure out. So. Yeah. Yeah. And there, and like you could tell from like how a girl kind of lives her lifestyle. She got to work at night. Was she, huh? Every night. She got to work. <laughs> I mean, unless she worked third shift, it's kind of like. Well, she's like saying assuming that the, she leaves yeah, the, 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 the she job. She working, yeah. Oh, she stopped Yeah, she stops oh, doing it. You know yeah. what I mean? That's, which that's easier said than done. Most of the time, it's very difficult for women to leave that because it's fast money. It's you yeah. make six figures a year at a young age. You ain't gonna find that job again unless you go and get a degree, and that's gonna take time and money. And yeah. and yeah. I, I, again, I don't want to be an asshole, but I'm gonna be very honest about this. Women are lazy, and what I mean by this is that women typically they look at money as a means to an end. They don't look at how they make the money. They're more concerned with making the money and living how they want. <clears throat> I'll give you an example: if a girl makes two thousand dollars, right, in a week, she'll say, "Nice, I don't gotta work all week. I can go ahead and pay my rent. Good. I can get the bags that I want, whatever it may be. Good. If a man makes two thousand dollars a week, he's like, damn, okay." If I work a few more hours, I can make more money because men understand that their value is determined by their status and how much money they can earn. Women, on the other hand, look at money as a means to an end. Okay, I make this money. I could pay my bills. I'm good, right? And it goes up if they have higher class taste. But in general, women don't have the same ambition and drive to earn money because you can get a man without making money. But for us, our sexual market value is contingent upon how much money we make. For you guys, it's not. So that's what I've come to realize. Women don't have the same propensity to go out and work hard and work more hours and work dangerous jobs, more laborious jobs like men are. Men are more willing to sacrifice their dreams of being a musician or an artist to be an engineer, even though they fucking hate it because they understand that their values derive from how much money they make. But on the other hand, I've seen plenty of girls give up their medical degree, give up all this other bullshit because they want to chase their dream and you know do what they want to do versus men aren't because no one cares if a woman's a bum, to be honest with y'all. If you're pretty, somebody else will res- rescue you. But as a man, no matter how handsome you are, if you're a bum, you're limited. You have limited options when it comes to mating. Also, that lifestyle itself 
is fun and exciting. However, the money that you make, you make during that lifestyle is a lot. So to go to a regular job is kind of like, for what? Yeah, you ain't gonna be able to tell a boss, have a boss tell you what to do for yeah. like yeah. 50k a year. That's why I tried to do solar because it was like fast money, but it was just waiting for the back end and yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, yeah. it's it's very difficult. I've rarely if ever seen girls like leave that life. I mean, we 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 know two girls that left that life, but it's yeah. it's hard it and it's easy. funny because yeah. that same lifestyle you might have a plan going into how to exit, but unless that plan is really ironclad, like tight, and you actually stick mm-hmm. to it, you're gonna fall off. You know what? It's just way easier. I'm gonna stick to this. Yeah, to make that yeah. kind of money. Yeah. At your age is impossible, uh, like impossible. And then to make that money, right, you, you, you're you going to have to work hard. You're going to have to work at hard hours, get an education, all this stuff. And like, why do that when you can make that literally in a day? It's going to be very difficult to take then, orders from a boss. What's the regular route? All right. You know what? That's first, why a lot of girls on OnlyFans, like, I say, can't leave. The next either. step is no stripping to OnlyFans. Yeah. That's the next step. Yeah. They can't. They can't leave, bro. Yeah. So anyway, I say all that to say this. Um, men are gonna have a point of contention with that, is what I'm saying. So, like, yeah. let's say you do find this guy that's a dream man that checks off all these boxes. Don't and tell him. Whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. don't Just say you were him. a waiter. Yeah, a waitress. He, <laughs> I did. Sir, but they serving niggas. Serving niggas. That money. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing for that? But um, my waitress at a steakhouse. But, yeah, yeah. Serving some booty. A lot booty. of dudes are gonna have a. They're, they're gonna be like, nah, I can't wait for. Even if you stop doing it, because like men are very interested. I always say um, women are interested in a man's future. Men are very interested in a woman's past. Yeah, even bottle girls is a step below, but yeah. I wouldn't even say that either. <laughs> yeah, yeah I um, I talked to a guy and I tried to get his opinion on strippers. And he was like, you know, basically belittling them, saying he could never be with one. And then we were like out in Cancun. Um, we came back and I told him, like, I don't want to be with you, you know, like, and I'm a stripper. Um, I've been stripping for a couple years now. Damn. And he was like... And I was like, and I'm not ashamed of it. You know, like I didn't tell him that before, yeah. but then, you know, I came forward and told him after he told me the truth. Yeah. And he was like, no, 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 it's fine. Like, I wouldn't expect you to be ashamed of it. Like, you know, we can keep working this out. And <laughs> I, mean, I just ended it. But you guys, I know, yeah, I know yeah. what you really think. You know? <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Like, like, and and yeah. I think what, like, yeah, like, when like you it's going to come up later. You was trying to you pimp you out. Pussy, bro. Like, yeah. if you give up, I'll make it very simple for you guys. If you take, you right now, right, dancing, and then I take you again, and I, your identical twin, and she's in school or works a secretary job making 20K per year. And I lined up 100 dudes, and I said, yo, same exact girl, one does this profession, one does the other, they're always going to go for the other profession mm-hmm. every time. So all things equal, they would prefer you to not be in that job field. But what did I tell you before? Most guys are losers. Most guys don't have options. Most guys can't be honest with women. So what do they do? They consolidate, okay, this chick doesn't meet all my requirements, but I need some pussy, nigga. So they're gonna they're yeah. gonna take that. That's why if you guys look, why do women initiate most of the breakups? They initiate the breakups because men don't have the same ability to find another mate like a woman does. Women can get back on a marketplace and find a guy like that. A guy, unless he's higher status, more attractive, it's gonna be very difficult for him to do it. That's why if you look, guys are in relationships with girls that be slapping them and disrespecting them or fucking mm-hmm. bad mouthing them, whatever. And dudes are way more lo- likely to tolerate that fuckery because it's not as easy for a man to replace a woman as it is for a, a woman to replace a man. If the guy's average, most average men, I would say are invisible to most women. But if a guy's higher status, you could replace her. Yeah. But let's be honest here. 1% of dudes can do this shit. Mm-hmm. So anyway, All right. 